Hey, good morning everyone. This is The Road Biker. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, a Sigma uh, bike computer and the Strava app for recording your sports activities. Um, this is a Sigma bike computer. Very typical uh, device that um, you'll find with most bike computers. There are two basic controls on the computer. There's a front button that you see me pushing. That front button will access different functions or different uh, data points that the computer records for you. And if you want to erase or reset something, there's a red button on the top that you press and hold, which will clear the setting for the particular data point that you're sitting on. In that case, there was a trip time. There's the average speed. If I wanted to reset that, I click and hold. You see it flashes and it resets that particular item. Now this bike computer, like most bike computers, needs to be configured or set up. And if you turn the bike computer over, there is a very tiny small button on the back of the computer that is used to set all the functions and set the basic uh, parameters for the computer. You'll be provided with a um, instruction sheet, which is not hard to follow, but it is not intuitive. Uh, plus, there's a pile of stuff that you need to set up um, for basics to make the computer function correctly. Each one of them is a line item, and that little button I told you about in the back, that's what that set button is in the instructions. The most difficult thing is to set up and define what wheel size you have on your bike so that the computer records your speed and distance accurately. So there's quite a bit to setting up a bike computer and I've always, I've always liked my bike computer. They're inexpensive, they're a good little device and um, if you are thinking about buying one, um, well, they're, they're a good choice to make. But today I'm going to be talking about a second choice that you might want to consider, which I'm now using, which I absolutely love, and that is a Strava app. This application, uh, it runs off your iPhone, and you can attach your iPhone to your handlebars with a special device, a special mounting bracket, or carry it, carry it around in your pocket, it doesn't matter. Um, the Strava app records everything that you do every place you go and gives you all kinds of information relative to those, those trips that you've made. Here you see me opening up the Strava app and it has a list of all the particular places that I had been to previously. You can even upload photos to those specific places that you had visited. Uh, some of the information that's available uh, by touching the particular activity you were on, you were on or you last recorded. Uh, you can see your distance and your time and how many calories that you burn. You can swipe over and you can see the amount of uh, energy that you put into that ride and also uh, how many miles per hour and average miles per hour uh, you traveled across that. There is also uh, segments that uh, are a part of your route that the system automatically recognizes and you can compare how well you do riding compared to other people and even yourself. So it's, it's a fun application to use. The thing that I really like most about this, comparing this to a bike computer, is how you can record uh, your activities on it by pushing the record button. Um, nothing more than just start your record and when you do uh, the clock starts and it starts keeping track of what you're doing. You can also view on a map where you are uh, during your activity and during your ride you can stop at any time and restart your activity whenever you want. Once you've completed your ride and you want to, uh, you've come to the end of your destination, destination, you can either save that particular uh, activity, or in this case, I'm just discarding it because I'm demo demoing this functionality for you. The other nice thing about this is you can go right back into this record option and select a route that you've predefined uh, using the desktop uh, application version of this. So you can select a route, choose that route and start recording the route and you'll get two different things here. You'll get um, the recorded activity that you spent driving along your route or riding your route or running your route and you can actually see and pr be provided with directions included audio directions on what turns to make and when. So a really interesting and remarkable application plus the fact it's free kids. 
So everything that I'm demonstrating to you is absolutely free. And there you see me swiping some of my previous rides that I've taken. And yes, your phone can ring and you can get a call and cancel the call or answer the call. It will not affect uh, your, your recording while you're recording. Uh, your activities. Really a remarkable uh, device. So this is the comparison you've got. You can either take a look at Strava or run your little bike uh, computer and uh, use it for determining uh, how well you're doing on your rides and so forth. I personally think that the Strava app is absolutely remarkable. Um, you can go back in time and see places that you've gone and how well you've ridden those places and plan for uh, rewriting the re writing those places again over and over again. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will subscribe to this channel. Subscribe by clicking that subscribe box you see just right there. And as always, your comments are welcome, so please feel free to post them. This is The Road Biker. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.